what I'm going to go through here for the next video module is how you can combine patterns of DAX formula or branches of DAX formula. So you might start with a simple DAX formula, but then you can branch out into these very advanced or, 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 or complex analytical uh, calculations by layering these DAX formula on top of each other or combining them. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to run through one example of how you can actually do this to extract some really powerful insight. Now here's a scenario, I want to see, uh, I want to compare results uh, dynamically between different months and I want to do it cumulatively. So I want to be able to click into any month and then see how we performed that month cumulatively and then I want to uh, compare it to previous months cumulatively as well so we can see, see if we're actually performing well very quickly. Okay, so I'm going to start simple and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to do it via profits as well. So I'm going to show you how we can get to profits um, um, instead, of, instead of just simple sales. So we've already got our total sales here, but now I need to work out my total profits. And I'm going to first of all jump and try and calculate what my total costs are, obviously, because that's how we get to profits. So I'm going to here, I'm going to go total costs and I'm going to go sum x here. And in, this, uh, in the sales table, I'm going to times the quantity, the quantity column in my iterating function. And if I can just find that here, sales quantity, and then I'm going to times it by the related. And in the products table, we've got the, uh, the cost, we've got the cost amount. So I'm going to times it by the cost of each individual product. And then now we've got uh, now we've got total costs here. We can branch out again into total profits. So I'm just going to go total profits, and this this is what is called measure branching, where we start off with these simple measures, and then we branch into into different uh, measures. Uh, so I, all I've got to do here is go total sales minus my total costs, and then push enter. And then now we have total profits here, right? So obviously we want to format that. And so I'm just going to come to the modeling tab and uh, format this to a currency. Cool, okay, so now I'm just gonna get rid of my total sales. So now we've got total profits here for every single day in 2016. But now what I wanna do is I want to, I wanna actually view this cumulatively. I wanna actually uh, see, well, what is, uh, what, what are my total profits cumulatively over time? So uh, what I can do there, what I can do there is uh, I can use the cumulative total pattern, right? So uh, I'm going to just um, put, create that now. So I'm going to go cumulative total and I'm going to go calculate and then put in my expression, which is total profits. And then I'm going to go filter. I'm going to use what uh, what's called all selected here. And then I'm going to go dates. And then I'm going to go date is less than or equal to max date. Okay, so if we round this off. Now we've got a cumulative total. Uh, so what we probably want to be a bit more descriptive here. We want to go cumulative profits. And I'm, I'll drag that into uh, the, can, the, uh, the table here. And you can see now that we have this cumulative total. So this is the first, I guess, you know, pattern or or, or sh structured formula that, uh, that gets us what we need. This in itself is very reusable, um, but I wanna show you how we can then use this to branch out into even more interesting things. So the first thing I'm gonna do is because I'm, I wanna compare monthly information here, I'm gonna grab my month and year, and I'm gonna turn this into a, a slicer. And so now if we select any month here, we now have, we have the total profits per day, but now we have cumulative profits, which is great. And so I can click through to any month and my cumulative total changes with any selection. Okay, so now that we've got this, what I wanna do, remember, what I wanna do is I wanna compare cumulative profits here versus cumulative profits for any uh, for prior months as well. I wanna see them in the same visualization. So what I'm going to do is I've gotta uh, do a couple of things to actually get to that point. Now the first thing I need to do is I need to figure out what are my total profits for the previous month and the month before, for example. So we've got to use another, I guess, pattern, if you like, another branch of, 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 of measures to actually get that. So uh, the first thing we've got to do is we've got to um, go, we've got to find out what our profits were, profits LM for last month. And I'm going to use calculate here again, I'm going to go total profits, and then I'm going to use this awesome time intelligence function, date add. 
and then I'm going to just fill in what I need to here. I'm going to go number of intervals minus one, and then I'm going to select my month, and then push enter. And so now I've got my profits last year, last month. So this is so if you think about what this result here, this is saying, well, this is the total profits for this day. Well, this is the total profits for this day last month. So in um, in July, and we can test that. So let's remember 10483. If we come back to July, you'll see 10483 there, which is exactly what we want. Okay, and then so we've got profit uh, last month. Let's now work out profits let's work out profits for two months ago let's create a new measure all i did was copy and paste and then i'm going to go two years ago oh, sorry two months ago and then all i've got to do so simple change this to minus two and drag that in and now we've got profits from two months ago right so now that we've got uh, our profits for last month uh, for the current month, the previous month, and months two months ago. Now all I've got to do is then branch out into this cumulative total pattern again, but insert these columns here into this cumulative total pattern. So I'm going to come up to my cumulative profit. I'm going to copy, and then I'm going to paste, and then I'm just going to make some small adjustments to this to this this pattern. So I've got cumulative profits last month. And then I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to go cumulative profits two months ago, and then I'm going to change my measure in here, uh, profits two months ago, and then now check this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my cumulative profits last month in there, and my cumulative profits two months ago, and I'm going to get rid of these intermediary calculations, because now if I turn this into a visualization, then we get this really cool visualization where we're analyzing the cumulative profits for this month and we're comparing it in a dynamic way to last the previous the month before that and the month before that and so if we click through to any of these months you can very quickly see the trends so the trends and how you're performing versus any prior month so it looks like there really isn't you know, significant change in trends here but uh, but nonetheless, this technique is the key. So understanding this technique and and the whole idea around this uh, this this module was to showcase to you that you start with a core calculation like total sales, and then you can branch out into say total profits, and then you can branch out into uh, profits so a time comparison pattern where you, you want to look at your total profits from a from a prior period for example and then you can then change it again you can uh, go into and branch out into a new measure like a cumulative total pattern to then create this visualization like so so this is just one example of the many many I mean hundreds of different ways that you could formulate this um, but I just wanted to get you as familiar as possible with what you can achieve when you start combining all of these things together so hopefully you got a lot, um, a lot of out of this example, and can see how you might want to implement uh, some of these uh, more advanced techniques or combination of techniques uh, in your own analysis.